Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another tutorial video, and I will be teaching you guys how to create a very eye-catching P logo. So make sure you guys watch the full video. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and ask me anything in the comment section below. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now let's get started. First of all, select the line segment tool. Then maintain shift and click and drag to create a straight line. Now select the rectangle tool. Left click on the artboard and make a rectangle of width 100 pixels and height 100 pixels. Then click OK. Swap the fill and stroke of the rectangle. Now align this square with the line that you just made. Now maintain Alt and then click and drag the line to duplicate it. And align it with the bottom of the square. Again select the rectangle tool. Left click on the artboard. Make a rectangle of width 50 pixels and height 50 pixels. Then click OK. Swap the fill and stroke of the rectangle. And then align it with the second line as I did. Now maintain Alt and then click and drag the second line to duplicate it. And align it with the bottom of the small square. Drag the bigger square and align its top with the third line. Again maintain Alt and then click and drag the third line to duplicate it. And align it with the bottom of the bigger square. Select the fourth line and press Ctrl D to duplicate the line. Make only two duplicates. OK. Now select the line segment tool. Maintain Shift and then click and drag to make a straight vertical line. Now drag the bigger square and align it with the vertical line. Maintain Alt and then click and drag the vertical line to duplicate it and align it to the right of the square. With this line selected, press Ctrl D three times to make three duplicates of the line. Now delete both of the squares. Now select the ellipse tool. Swap fill and stroke so that we only have the stroke. OK, now hover over this intersection of lines. Maintain Shift and Alt and then click and drag to make a perfect circle until it meets this intersection. Now make circles as I am making. OK, now maintain only shift and then click and drag to make a circle from this point to this point. Again maintain shift and alt and make a circle like this. OK now select everything. Then select the shape builder tool. Swap fill and stroke to get the fill. Then click and drag on the required parts. This is the first one. This is the second. And this is the third. Now select the required parts. Then go to edit and cut. Then select everything and delete. And then go to edit and paste in place. OK. Now I will add some gradient color to it. I have got two color codes. First select the shape and give it the default gradient. Then copy the first color code. Select the shapes and go to gradient window. Double click on the gradient slider. 
then choose RGB from the drop-down and paste in the color code. Now copy the second color code. Select the shapes and go to gradient window. Double-click on the gradient slider, then choose RGB from the drop-down and paste in the color code. OK. Now select this bottom part. And set the angle size to 45 degrees from the gradient window. Now double-click on the lighter color gradient slider. Adjust the sliders to darken the color. With the bottom part selected, go to Edit and Copy. And then Paste in place. Then go to the Transparency window. And set the Blending Mode to Multiply. Congratulations, we have finished making the logo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check my channel for other tutorials and speed arts. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Okay bye. See you in the next video.